Hey everybody, it's Crazy Cuban Carol. How you doing? Today, I'm gonna be teaching you how to solve a pyramid. And the reason for this uh, different background is because these colors of the pyramids are gonna be messing up the white balance on my camera and it's gonna change up uh, the color of the background. So I'm just gonna use this for now. But anyways, let's get started with this tutorial. So I'm gonna go over notation. Uh, this was R, so this is R, R prime. This is L, and then this is L prime. This is U, this is U prime. So now I'm gonna be naming each of these pieces so that I don't say like, you wanna move this piece here because that won't be really straightforward to you guys. Um, so this is called a tip. Well, all these are tips. These are centers. Well, this and this and this. These are centers. And then these with two colors on them are edges. So now you can start by scrambling up your pyramids. Once your pyramids is scrambled, we can get started. So you wanna find all of the centers, remember these are called centers, with uh, a color. Um, and that color will be the f um, color you want to make one layer out of. And one layer, by the way, is this. Uh, so I'm choosing blue to make for my one layer. So here's a center with blue. And now I'm gonna find its matching tip, which would be this one that also has blue on it. This one has green, this one has red. And there you go, this one has blue. So that's one pair. I'm gonna call these pairs. So here's another center, and here's the blue, the tip, and there's the blue, so I'll just rotate it. And now there is uh, a pair. Here is another center, and there we go. So the next step is where you wanna find all, a face where all of the pairs you just made match up. So in this case, if you had it like this, this, uh, these two match up, but this one will never be able to come here. So this is the face where all three of the pairs match up. Now we're gonna be moving on into moving these centers into their correct spots. So you wanna find a piece that has uh, whatever um, face you wanna make. So since I made blue, I wanna find an edge with blue on it. So here's an edge with blue on it, and the other color is green. So I'm gonna move it to the area where there's green on it. So this is yellow, this is red, and here's green. So you wanna hold it so that the blue is on the green area. So in this case, I would have to move it this way. Now the blue's on the green area. You wanna move this piece out of the way by rotating it this way. So, cause the next step will be moving it this way, but if we do this, while this is here, it'll bump this away, and that's not what we want. So move this over um and you want to bring this up and then twist this back so that it's inserted in and then you can just bring it down and there we go there's one edge in so here's the one with blue and red on it so i'll move it over so that blue is in the red area and in this case it's on the right side so i want to move it this way so that i move it out of the way once i turn it like this and then i could bring this back in and then down and then for the last piece, or last edge, we have one with blue and yellow on it. So now, blue is already in the area where we have yellow. So now, again, we move this out of the way, bring this up so that we could insert this in, and bring it down. Now you have inserted all of these edges on the face you want to make, and you have made the first layer uh, with the face of the color you wanted to make. So for the next step, we're going to be getting basically these, this sort of area, this whole thing, uh, so that your pyramid will be solved, because after that, there's no more steps. So you want to find these um, edges that have one color, at least one color, uh, on its right side. So here we have green on the green side, but yellow is here, not red. Um, and then you wanna find two edges that have two of the correct sides on it. So here, this is the perfect example. Green, right here. Yellow is incorrect here, but that's okay because we only need one of the correct color. And then here, we have red on this side. So you wanna hold it like this so that both edges are on these two sides. And you wanna bring whichever sort of clump 
down uh, where it's not correct. So this case, the yellow one is not correct because red does go here. So I'll bring this down and then bring this down and bring this up and then bring this up. Now we brought this blue edge out, so we just insert it in like we did before. So we twist this out of the way, bring this up, and then insert it in. Now you should have these so that the edges are making headlights. If your pyramid rings has the same case, except this one is the one that's incorrect, and this one is the one that's right, you do the same thing except starting with this one. So you would do bring this down first, then bring this down, bring this up, and bring this up. And then insert it in like we did before, since there's a blue piece just got taken out. So we bring that away, bring this up, and then insert it in. And now you'd have headlights once again. So now you want to match the headlights with its correct area, like so. And now we're going to work on moving the edges so that they go into the correct position. Now you want to match your tip to the center. So I'll just rotate it, and now these all have pairs. Now you want to look at your pyraminx and say which way do these pairs have to go. Mine has to go clockwise because red goes here, green goes here, and yellow goes here. If yours goes clockwise, do this algorithm. And there you go, your pyraminx is solved. If yours has to go counterclockwise, do this algorithm. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to solve a pyraminx using a basic beginner's method. I'll see you guys next time on Crazy Cuban Carol. Bye!